Hey guys, a very warm welcome to Arihant Online Academy and uh, in this video session we will discuss the evolution of networking which is a basic concept of communication and networking concepts, right? So if you are preparing for any kind of CSIT exam whether it is NET or TRB, PJ, IT officer, LICA or ITRR, VJE or any kind of CSIT exam and then this will help you a lot, right? So let's start. Uh, evolution of networking basically we are discussing very basically and then we will discuss in elaborating that how the today's networking that is the internet came into existence right so system sharing information in a group is called uh, interconnected computers right so system suppose these are the system suppose one pc two pc three pc four pcs are there right now suppose they are connecting to each other right so such kind of interconnected computers uh, are called as they, they are you can say that this is the interconnected computers right and the collection of such kind of groups or the collection of such systems so that we can exchange information from one pc to another one device to another or one system to another uh, so such a kind of system is called as computer network right so it is the basic uh, terminology for computer network so sharing of reliable resources and communication medium plays major role in any network so what it means uh, basically you can see here that uh, in the di diagram the, some laptops are there electronic gadgets smartphones mobile phones server pc so suppose it is a server or a medium so that whenever you want to communicate with one another or whenever you want to communicate with each other each other and whenever you want to exchange information from one location to another location from one system to another system globally so that uh, networking should be required right so the concept of networking come from this uh, from this idea right so this is the basic uh, concept of networking and here in the second point which we have discussed that the reliable resources right and communication medium that how we are exchanging our medium what are our communication medium uh, whether it is ad hoc or you can say that it is a, a via wi-fi or internet or whatever the communication medium is there which plays a major role right uh, so let's start the basic of evolution of networking that is uh, the history of some kind of networking that is the ARPANET. Uh, you can say that the ARPANET in 1969 it came into existence uh, which is named and designed by ARPA, A -R -P -A, that is the abbreviation for Advanced Research Pro Project Agency. Advanced Research Project Agency. So in one of the exam it is asked the direct abbreviation of ARPA right and uh, defense agency so defense agency and arpa uh, simultaneously uh, named and designed the arpa net right so the uh, to connect computers at different universities the basic goal of the arpa net was to connect computers at different universities so that they can exchange information important data from one university to another it was the main goal or objective of the arpa uh, arpa net right so the main objective was of ARPA, uh, ARPANET was that but uh, the research, uh, defense agency was came into existence with that so the combined goal or you can say that the main objective of ARPANET and defense agency is that to make a network such that whenever which can work even in case of nuclear attack right so if in case of nuclear attack is there your network system should be such strong and reliable so that your resources which we have discussed in this point right reliable resources and your communication medium and uh, network such is strong that it can survive in nuclear attack also so it was the starting point of the networking it was the evolution point of the networking you can say that it was the uh, first stepping stone towards making advancement in networking right so the next point is the NSF entity after ARPANET the NSF entity in mid 80s the federal some federal agency made a network which named as National Science Federation Network right National Science Federation Network it was the backbone of first commercial internet today is that we are in the commercial internet so the backbone or you can say that the first infrastructure backbone was due to NSF net that was the abbreviation for National Science Federation National Science Federation Network right 
so the main objective of nsf net was uh, use of network solely for the academic research right so for the purpose of academic research nsf net was made but uh, after some time it uh, some private agencies are added with the nsf net and the internet exist in the existence of internet came towards us right so you can see here uh, the internet is the superset of all networks so arpanet was initially there then after that nsf net came and some private agency was there so the group of all that make the internet so combined you can also say that the combined uh, internet existence was arpanet plus private networks plus nsf net so they all combinedly made internet right so today's which we are uh, in the uh, era of internet are due to nsf net arpanet and some private networks right so due to which the evolution of networking came into existence right so for the basic purpose of examination that how questions can be asked from you so you can just need to you do not need to uh, completely remember all this point but you just need to basics of arpanet nsf net internet likewise that right now internet is in there in the picture uh, which uses tcp ip to transmit information so we are transmitting information from one device to other you can say that one gadgets to other so only due to tcp and ip protocol that is the transmission control protocol and internet protocol we are transmitting information right it permits different electronic gadgets like palm pc or you can say that laptops smartphones pcs or your desktop computers to exchange information so to exchange information between this device or gadgets you can also say that in a group at different locations to share information uh, the internet came into existence that how can you uh, how can you exchange information at different location with the pcs right basically at the earliest time some mainframe computers was there so it was taking much more time in uh, uh, processing itself and uh, whenever one want to suppose apply for a job or the receipt came to the output was taken so much time right so to make such kind of system easier uh, internet came into existence right so the communication and services improves with the internet so today's generation can know betterly what are the advantages in the services of the internet because they are living in that era right so i will discuss the services of the internet and you will easily know that yeah it is the uh, it is right thing that we are discussing right so the social networking improves with the internet or you can say that we are discussing the services of the internet uh, social networking news portal so the news you can directly uh, uh, see the news directly on the portals by the use of internet online tutorials are there test video lectures so that you can just open the internet and watch the video lecture which is very helpful to you and very uh, comfortably you can learn without any financial need right so uh, basically these are the enhancement of the internet you can say that then emails messages online shopping online movies episodes uh, entertainment gaming etc are the services that internet had made easier for us right so here we have discussed the important uh, that how evolution of networking came into existence after arpanet nsf net and internet right so thank you so much guys in our next lecture we will discuss some more important topics regarding your exam so to getting that lecture free of cost please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon so that you will not miss any of the important updates whether it is in the form of important job alerts current affairs or any of the important uh, current uh, content for the your upcoming examination right so thank you so much guys further if you have any kind of queries doubts or any kind of uh, uh, queries you can comment us and we will try to solve that thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat